half a century ago, the Concorde jet was flying at twice the speed of sound, more than double the speed of your average passenger plane today. But despite its wow factor, the plane made for bad business, from its exorbitant costs to disastrous PR. Today, nearly 20 years since the Concorde last took flight, technology has changed the world of aviation, and one intrepid company is hopeful about bringing back supersonic travel for good. What we need to do now is almost go back to the future. We have an intersection of what technology is available and what the market is ready for. And that puts us in a place to have a renaissance in speed. At the dawn of the flight age, the idea of air travel was thrilling, glamorous, and vastly inaccessible. But over time, planes became more economical, and the world of flying opened up to the masses. Not much else about flying has changed, though, and jet setting is now less of a luxury than a function of the 21st century. In other words, air travel is well overdue for an upgrade. And new technology has paved the way to make a new kind of flight not just possible, but increasingly inevitable. New York to London today will take about six and a half hours, and it's typically flown as a red-eye flight. But with supersonic, that flight will shrink to three and a half hours. Our goal is to make the planet dramatically more accessible through travel that is significantly faster, ultimately cheaper, and less hassle, so that we can live on the planet the way today we would live in a city. Boom Supersonic is a startup aviation company based in Denver, Colorado. Few might realize it passing by, but inside this hangar, dozens of designers, engineers, and technicians are working up the future of commercial flight, starting with this test plane. XB-1 is history's first independently developed supersonic jet. Previously, supersonic aviation has been confined to governments and militaries, and it's never been done by an independent private company before. Traveling at supersonic speeds means barreling through the air faster than the speed of sound. And no passenger plane has broken the sound barrier since Concorde's early retirement in 2003. Now to Concorde's last flight, ending one of the most glittering achievements in aviation history, supersonic passenger travel. At the airport, there were cheers, tears, and of course, that familiar deafening roar. We jumped into the high-speed age before we had the technology to do it in a sustainable way. So in the 1960s, aircraft were made out of aluminum. All your aerodynamic development would have to happen in wind tunnels, where every iteration would take months and cost millions of dollars. We had these super loud, inefficient, after-burning turbojets with like a flame coming out the back of the engine, and it would guzzle gas. As a result, it was available to a tiny number of people. A ticket on Concorde would set you back $20,000. Well, Concorde was all of those things, but supersonic doesn't have to be those things. We've gone from aluminum to carbon fiber composites, which means you can build a strong, lightweight airframe. We've gone from using wind tunnels to using computer simulation for aerodynamic development. Instead of waiting months to test an idea, you can wait hours or even minutes. And then lastly, we've gone from those loud, inefficient, afterburning turbojets to something called a turbofan. So what we're looking at here is the center engine intake. So air flows in here, goes down this whole tube that you can see, and then the uh, engine's on the other side. This shape is basically a really fancy uh, supersonic air compressor. And that means we're now at the tipping point, we're ready for a revolution. XB-1 is the first step to getting to Boom's true vision, Overture. Our little team has put together XB-1, which is a technology demonstrator for our Overture passenger airliner. So it has all the key technologies for mainstream, safe, reliable, efficient, sustainable supersonic flight. This first proof of concept is a major landmark for Boom. Between a public already skeptical of the viability of supersonic commercial flight and an ongoing pandemic that has forced air travel to its lowest figures in years, nothing can afford to go amiss. It's natural for the team to get excited when they discover opportunities to do things you know, faster or, or better. As a pilot who's going to fly the first flight, you kind of have to take on a bit of a skeptical role that you always want to question and challenge. Hey, does this really make sense, the, the thing that we're doing? And really understanding the risk that you're taking and as you get closer to that first flight. You kind of need to leave that skepticism behind. Right? You, you need to have gotten to a place where you really believe that the flight is going to go as you have expected and the way you've rehearsed it to go. 
With flight tests for XB1 on the horizon, airlines have taken notice. Virgin Atlantic and Japan Airlines are major investors and already have jets pre-ordered. And while the initial price of a ticket won't come cheap, the cost will be comparable to flying business class, around $5,000. Boom isn't the only outfit working on supersonic travel. But to Scholl, rising competition just means that more people are starting to agree that widespread supersonic flight is not just a possibility, but the undeniable future and one that will eventually become more affordable and more accessible, just as we've seen in aviation's past. So in the dawn of the jet age, the ability to go be part of the jet set was incredibly exciting. I think back to Concorde, and whenever they'd break the sound barrier, there would be a celebration and they would serve everyone champagne and caviar. That will come back with Overture, but that's actually not the moment I'm most excited about. I'm excited about the moment when the flight attendants get out champagne to celebrate being supersonic. The passengers are like, I just want to get back to my movie or my book because this is normal now. Thanks for watching. For more stories like this one, check out freethink.com and be sure to subscribe for more great videos every week. <laughs>